Hello and welcome to Climbing Daily. On today's show we're at the Black Diamond booth because this lady to my right, Caddy Lehman, has become the second woman to boulder 8C, which frankly is worth talking about. So Caddy, a lot of people aren't really going to know who you are because you've just exploded out of nowhere. So for the people who don't know you, can you just say uh, who you are, where you live and what you do? Mm -hmm. So I'm Caddy Lehman, I live in Germany in Freiburg, it's in the very south of Freiburg. and. Yeah, I boulder since I'm a little girl, like my brother introduced me to climbing and um, he took me to Fontainebleau and since then I was hooked and it, it's part of my life. So talk me through the story of this boulder, uh, what's it called and where did you first see it and know that it's something you wanted to climb? So I first saw it when a friend and my brother showed it to me, we went to this little area called Mochelstock, it's in Switzerland and we looked at some lines, like there's some more beautiful lines and uh, they just showed me this boulder and I, I saw it and it was this beautiful line called Kryptos um, and I just, I had to try it, like I didn't, yes they told me that it's a hard boulder but I didn't really think about that in the beginning because I was just really motivated to try it because it looks nice and it looked somehow possible and I love the puzzle solving part about bouldering so I'm always keen to find out if I find a way for me because I'm relatively short so yeah and when you first pulled on could you do the moves or did it feel miles out of the possibility for you so um, I could do the second move <laughs> and I could do the finish um, but yeah it's it doesn't look so hard maybe on the photos or something but it's limestone it's super slippery you have to hit every hole perfect and yeah in the beginning I could not leave the ground in some positions I was trying to hold or something so yeah. What kind of specific training did you do for this boulder? Did you go away and build a replica crux or did you just work on certain moves? How did you go about that process? So first, um, a week later after I first saw it I went back because I was motivated. I wanted to find a way but then it felt even harder. I, I couldn't do much on it. So I somehow that year, it was in March 17, I didn't feel ready for it yet, but I went there a couple of times, even in, in summer, like I got up very early because it was already warm. Um, but then I gave up on it, it was, I go to South Africa in summer, font in, in autumn, and then I tried it again because it was stuck in my head. Uh, so I went back, I think after the Fontainebleau season, end of 2017, and then um, it got cold, but I had this idea of seeing this boulder as a big goal and all the other things as small steps towards this goal. And that was a really good and helpful mindset because it didn't put me under pressure. I just saw it as a chance and I just really enjoyed the process. I had some other projects on the way. Um, in, also in Switzerland or in, in Fontainebleau and all those boulders made me stronger and I always, when, as soon as I finished one project it was time to go back to, to that one, it felt like a logical step to really really focus on that now. And what was the moment when you finally topped it out? Uh, what, was, what was that moment like for you? <laughs> that was pretty amazing because I, I, I basically couldn't believe it. It's like a it was like an automized program that happened and I only realized that the easier part, which is like you get to this underkling pinch, that well, I shouldn't let go now, like I'm through the crux and that was like exciting and then I, I managed to top it out, so it was exciting for sure. So after you've climbed this boulder, you've had a lot of attention from the media. Did you know what a big deal this was going to be and how much attention you were going to get from it? I actually only realized that after and it's, it was, of course, it's nice like to get so many uh, mails or messages and like people here at the show coming and like saying congratulations. And it's also, it's kind of new to me for sure. Um, it can sometimes also even get a bit much, but it's, it's more positive for sure. Having climbed this boulder now, what's your plans for the future? Has it allowed you to do some more things? Um, I'll just continue like it is because I just love climbing and like as soon as there's a beautiful line, um, I go and try it. And maybe I tie into a rope also to, for a change. Yeah. 
First woman to climb 9B+. plus. Oh, I, I'm not so sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, best of luck for whatever you do in the future. It's an amazing, amazing climb, and we're all super psyched for you. Thank you.